We are LMTV, Lynn Mar Television, now in our 10th year of award-winning broadcast excellence. Lynn Mar, your news starts now. Good morning, Lynn Mar. It's Tuesday, May 7th, 2013. And here's a look at the stories making news on your Lynn Mar campus. Our top story. There is a Miss America, a Miss Universe, and even a Mr. Universe. Have you ever wondered why we don't have anything like that at Linmar? Well, now there is. Today's anchors in training join us with some special guests. Guys? Joining me are Matt and Josiah from Student Council. Tell us about this new idea. We're very happy to announce that Linmar will be hosting a male-only Lion King male beauty pageant of Linmar High School. How will this work? Think of a competition between Miss America and Wipeout. Our eight contestants will be judged on three rounds of competition, formal interview, talent, and a minute to win it game. Who can take part? Uh, you have to be a senior guy. Applications are available in the main office. When will the Lion King be chosen? The competition will be held Tuesday, May 21st at 6.30 p.m. in the auditorium. Follow at Linmar Lion King for updates on Twitter. Thanks guys for telling us about the Lion King. Evan, back to you. Thanks guys. Time for today's prom update. Prom tickets for seniors began Sales for seniors began this morning. Tickets for juniors and seniors will go on sale tomorrow morning before school in Miss Crandall's room, L117. Prom is this Saturday night from 8 to 11.30 p.m. And the evening begins with a grand march in the auditorium at 7.30 p.m. Grand march tickets are $2.50 each, and advanced sale ticket prices are $18 per person or $30 per couple. We'll be back with more LMTV news right after this. Prom. It's a night you will cherish for the rest of your life. Preserve those very special memories forever by ordering your very own Linmar Prom DVD. Watch the magic of setup, the always exciting and colorful Grand March, the revelry of the dance, and the fun of the post-prom celebration. What a great gift for your date! Or a special way to say thank you to your parents for making your prom night extra special. Pick up an order form in the main office and pay $10 to Mrs. Dayton. Prom, a night you will never forget. Stop by the Four Corners this week to donate items to the Wildcat Closet. They're taking toiletries like toothpaste, soaps, and deodorant. They're also taking t-shirts, pants, athletic shorts, and clothing of all kind. You can even donate high school-sized backpacks and graphing calculators. Anything that's usable for underprivileged students. For each item you donate, your name will be put into a drawing for cash prizes at the end of the week. So, stop by the Four Corners each morning this week and support the Wildcat Closet. Welcome back! Post-prom is Saturday night, 11.30 p.m. to Sunday morning at 4 a.m. at the Rockwell Recreation Center. Entertainment includes a hypnotist, free food, games, and prizes. But you must be present to win. Check out the bulletin board next to the main office for details. Now, Laura joins us with sports. Thanks, Laura. Evan. On the scoreboard, the 9th, 10th, and JV boys tennis team beat Kennedy 9 to nothing and went 15 to 1 overall for the season. Congratulations, guys. Girls track at the MVC division meet in Cedar Falls. Our girls came in second out of seven teams. And boys track at their divisional meet at the Kingston Linmar came in third out of teams. Girls golf at the divisional championships, Linmar came in third out of seven teams. And girls tennis fell short to Hempstead, seven to two. Tonight in Linmar sports, varsity and JV girls soccer will play at Waterloo West. Team dismissed at 150. JV Girls Golf will host Metro Meet at Hunters Ridge at 315. Team also dismissed at 150. Varsity Girls Tennis will host Dubuque Wallard at 430. Freshman, sophomore, and varsity boys soccer will host Waterloo West at 515. Any volleyball player who was not at the player meeting last week needs to stop in the athletic office and sign up. Detailed summer information will be sent out soon, so get signed up today. And attention volleyball girls, volleyball open gym is canceled for Thursday. So the prom committee can begin decorating in the gym. And that's Sports 7. Back to you. Thanks, Laura. Sergeant Lopez from the Re Marines will be here today during all four lunch periods. He'll also be here on Thursday. Byron Fish, a sophomore at the U of I, will be in the counseling office tomorrow morning to talk to students interested in finding out more about Greek life at the University of Iowa. For more on summer jobs, career planning, and so much more, stop by the counselor's office or check out their website. Now, Robbie Robert is here with the Arts and Clubs. Thanks, Evan. 
On the arts and club scene, junior members of Student Advisory Council, your next meeting is today at 11.50 in the LRC. Lunch will be served during the meeting. Attention all thespians, stop by Mrs. Smith's room to sign up for the progressive dinner, which will be held on May 10th. Also, any thespian who is interested in running for office for next year must sign up with Mrs. Smith by Friday. FFA members interested in helping with Ag in the Park this Friday see Ms. Lemmer. They are looking for volunteers to give presentations related to animals, plants, safety, and the environment to preschool through third graders. All participants must complete and return an advanced makeup form. Are you interested in journalism, photography, or both? Join the Linmar Yearbook. Pick up an application in Mrs. Middlecoff's room, C113, and turn them in by May 17th. That's your club update. Evan, back to you. Thanks, Robert. Laura, what's for lunch? It's an oriental salad with popcorn chicken, fresh baked bread, and mandarin oranges. The other lines will offer the hamburger bar, pizza, or a la carte items. In the food court, it's tacos and refried beans. And that's lunch, Evan. Back to you. That sounds pretty good. We are in for a great day today with mostly sunny skies and a high of 76. Tomorrow, there's a chance of showers and storms in the afternoon with a high of 75. And Thursday, there's another chance of showers and storms with a high of 71. And that wraps up today's edition of LMTV News. Remember, LMTV is always available online. Just go to the high school website or follow us on Twitter. For the entire cast and crew, thanks for watching. Join us again tomorrow and make it a great day, Linmar.